Hello and welcome to Ginger Welsh Allotments. Um, I'm a bit pushed for time today, but I'm hoping to get my raised bed in. So that's what I'll be doing now and I'll show you the equipment I've got ready to go. Here I have my long bits of wood and over there is the short side. So it should just be a case of screwing them together and then fill in the bed with some cardboard at the bottom and then fill it with some manure um, the remainder of the spent compost from my potato um, bags from the summer and some compost from the heap so I'm resting the back so I put the bed in place but um, there's not much room here to get a barrel through as I can demonstrate there so I'm afraid I'm going to have to lose my cauliflowers at the end which is a little bit of a shame particularly this one because um, I think that's the best cauliflower I've grown um, and I could try and transplant it but I'm not sure if they transplant very well once they've grown so I think my collie will just have to go on the compost heap for the time being, which is a shame. Anyway, I better get cracking at night. Here is the bed in its final place and I decided to actually move the cauliflowers in the end so I'll just put the cloche back on them and hopefully they'll continue to grow. Um, when I moved them I took a big clump of the ground they were in with them so hopefully that will have transplanted them well. And I'm gonna leave I'm gonna soak this cardboard and then hopefully tomorrow I'll come back and fill the ground. But I gotta go and pick my son up now. So I'll catch you later. I am back and I have just half filled the bed with some horse manure and now I'm going to get some compost out of the compost heap and dump that on top. I'm over at the compost heap now and I wanted to show you the compost at the bottom which um, is extremely dry and um, I put some in the barrow and I think what I'll have to do is once I've layered it on top of the bed I'll give it all a good old soaking of water before I put the um, black protection over it for the winter so it should all rot down a bit further if there's any bits of compost in there that haven't rotted yet it should rot down over the winter with the help of the worms. Eventually the bed is complete but that took a lot of work getting all that compost out and it was really heavy to move as well but I'll just finish off putting the um, black sheeting on and then I'll show you how it's looking. So the bed is now complete put to bed for the winter you could say and my dad is going great guns down there clearing away all the really really long weeds and now I'm going to move on to the gooseberry section as I want to put down some black fabric over there so here is the gooseberry patch and as you can see I've got the same three gooseberries that have been there and they've still got some green on them so I think they're uh, growing strong and I want to move the wood chip to surround the um, strawberry truncher and then I'm also hoping to move the gooseberry bush from my house to that section there so I've got a bit of weeding to do I think I'll take up the wood chip as it didn't stop the weeds coming through which I hoped it would do move it over to the strawberry planter over there and then turn over the ground where the weeds are and then level it and hopefully put the membrane down and I don't know how far I'll get today before I lose the light as um, it's getting cold and the sun is already starting to drop so I'll, um, I'll get cracking and get back to you when it's done I got further with this patch than I thought I would before I lost the light now I just need to pack my barrow away and 
pack up for the night and call it a day. I managed to get my bed done today and I managed to turn over the gooseberry patch ready to put down the black um, plastic. So I'm very pleased with that. All I can say is lovely job. It's been a couple of days since I was last over here and now I'm going to attack the strawberry patch. I'm going to try and clear all this ground of weeds and over there as well and then lay down the black plastic. I've turned all of the red currant and black currant section and I've changed my plans with the strawberry patch. So I'm going to concentrate on that one that that's dug up and I'm going to leave this one for now because I don't think I'm going to get it all done today. And I've started to build a trench um, so that the black fabric will go into that trench and then be weighted down with the earth that I've dug up. Um, but with this method, I want to do both sides at the same time. So I want to be able to do the strawberry and the um, black currant patch um, so that I'm not having to redig the trench to do the other side. Um, so I've dug up the strawberries. I was going to leave them in, but I think it's easier if I dig them up and then plant them through the black fabric. But obviously now that I've dug them up, I really do need to get this done today. And I was thinking what I can do, as long as I get the strawberry ones back in, then if I don't even get around to digging up uh, the trench around the gooseberry or the red currant patch, then I can just weight the black fabric down this end. So I'll put it in I'll cover it over and then I'll weight it down with um, some stones that are lying around until uh, I get a chance to progress further along the patch. So I'll get cracking with digging out this strawberry trench now. Here is the black plastic all laid down. So all I've got to do now is fill around the edges and I'll work from this, this end back down there and then I'll see about the end bit whether I'm just going to um, hold it down with some stones for the time being until I get around to doing the next patch on or whether I shall crack on with it today. Um, I suppose it depends how the light holds as it took me a while to dig out this trench so it might take me a while to fill it in again but I better get cracking before I lose the light. The black plastic is now in place and I'm just gonna cut a little X in the fabric to plant each strawberry in place. And I have left this section here open, but I've put some pegs in the end to hopefully stop it from um, flying off if we get some wind before I finish this section. So I'm losing the light now, so I thought I'd show you this while you could still see something. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you when it's all planted in place. Hello, it's another day and I'm back over the plot. I've been here for about an hour and I've dug the trenches out around the gooseberry and red currant, black currant patch. So I'll show you my progress now. Here's the trench around the gooseberry patch and over there is the one around the red currant and black currant patch. Now it took me a lot um, less time to dig out this one for some reason and I'm not sure why. I think it's because I had the sides to put the soil around so it was easier to dig whereas when I had the strawberry patch over there it was quite hard to find somewhere to put the soil because I didn't want to put them on my shallots and kill the shallots. So my next job is to lay down the black fabric, which is going to be a bit difficult with these because I've already got the gooseberry and um, 
red currant plants in place and I don't want to go digging them up like I did with the strawberries so I'm gonna have a bit of a mission to get them in but I'm gonna crack on with the black plastic and I'll show you when I'm done here are the patches complete when you do these things you sort of expect them to look a lot neater when you finish but I guess that's just how gardening is you can't always be straight edges and um, a nice shiny job because there's always dirt in the way I've done my first patch of strawberries and I've done the red currant and the gooseberry patch so I'm happy with that I shall tackle the strawberry patch when I get another full day over here so all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching and lovely job <laughs>